Brother! Brother! Come to your senses! My heart was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who are born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yunchong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me, I shall continue to strive forward. I know a good spot for it. Sounds good to me, but our battle is far from over. <clears throat> you and Xiao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was an unearthly sky <clears throat> reaching over Guan Du. Are you saying that's Yuan Xiao's <clears throat> doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. <clears throat> We will do what we can here. Return to Minister Cao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Xiao. Hmm. Okay. Nice. You have bestowed the protect protection of the divine beast Kui... Queen Long, due to your strong bond. But didn't we have him before? Is what I'm thinking about. There we have the pop-up of the achievement. Swore an oath with Liu Bei. Awesome! Okay. So, I will not continue away from here. I have a little bit of stuff I need to take care of. And I want to avoid to edit the um, introduction cutscene together with the main episode after the fact. So I will pause it here uh, and then I will continue later on. So this boss was actually really difficult in my opinion. It was really hard. It was difficult to deflect and it has had so many or frequent, I would say, area of effect, area of effect attacks, and if you get hit once, you get stunned. So you can't deflect the upcoming two ones. Usually, he attacked like three or four times. So if you get hit on the first one, you're gonna get hit all of his attacks and basically die or close to it. So the two brothers that I had now in combat was the deciding factor. They took a lot of his attention away from me. I noticed that. Unfortunately, they died in the middle. That kind of sucked because now I think that they didn't get the oath level experience that I wanted. That's also one reason why I had two people, even though only one was obligatory. 
Um, but yeah, they they died, like 60 per, 6, 70% through or something to fight. And I noticed how much intensive it became all of a sudden. Like it was, it was like three, four times more intense in the end of the fight compared to the the beginning of the fight when they were still fighting. It was a big difference. So highly recommended to actually take two people to uh, or two companions to make this fight a little bit easier. We did it. It took me about 10 tries, I think. So he was fairly difficult. I was scared that it would take so much more longer. And I was so close to beating him on attempt 6. I think it was somewhere around there. I had one hit left. Basically the same as with Lu Bu, but this time the boss got the first hit and I died. Uh, instead of me getting the first hit and he died. This time it felt a lot better. This time it wasn't that big of an issue. I'm very happy, very satisfied. Now we can move on. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care and as always, I see you next time.